Hello and welcome to another modding Stellaris video. This time we are doing um, custom flags. Uh, so, basically the icons on the flags, not the colors or anything, just the kind of logo flag of the Empire there. And uh, for this you need a couple tools to make it. So basically the maps are saved as uh, .dds files and you need something to open those and edit them if you want to make the custom flags. Uh, just GIMP with a, a support module for that works just fine. I'll provide a link for both of those under the video in the description, so if you want to try your hand when the game launches on those, there's the handy tools for you. But let's get looking at this thing here. So, let's see, is this the right window? Yes. So here uh, we have the Steam library, Steam apps, common Stellaris flags uh, directory, where uh, all the flags are located. So for example here we have the backgrounds and all of these. And then we have Dominion, all of these flags. And all the flags have uh, three different uh, corresponding files. The normal one here, the small one over here, and then a map version of that Dominion one as well. And uh, we can for example open, let's say, the Paradox one here. And uh, here's, my, here's my test flag, which I will show you in a second. And this is the Paradox logo. So let me just open that in, uh, in the GIMP. And let me drag it to this window here. And let me also close that so you can see. So here's the Paradox logo. And it's just a <laughs> plain uh, file, image file, with main surface and some MIP maps, which are not really visible. Only the main surfaces were visible here. And you can edit this in any way you want. I could uh, just say delete the head of the paradox like this and save this and uh, now we would have a headless paradox logo. Looks kinda cool. No, we, we are not gonna do this. Let's just uh, close that. And uh, same way here's the small ones for the paradox logos and everything. And what I did with this is a uh, Let's go here, into the actual game. So what I did here was, I changed the logo here, and I did a test flag in the Paradox here, which is the <laughs> Chirper from City Skylands. So Chirper can into space as well. And it is uh, that simple. You just uh, open the DDS file, you can copy paste the uh, paste file. Like I, I, what I did, I copied uh, the Paradox logo file, named it test flag, and uh, then just uh, opened it up. In, in a picture editor and replaced the graphics whatever, with whatever I wanted. And there it is. Works just fine. We'll go with a red black background and then just uh, start the game. Oops, maybe I'll need to take those. Save, done, unspent trade points, yes, we want to continue, and go. And we have the same uh, same logo in the game, in here, shows also there, and shows the small icon in our, our planets as well. So there we go. <laughs> Custom flags for the game, if you want to. Get your Star Trek in, get your everything in, so simple. So anyways, I'll provide the link for the GIMP and the, the DDS file extension editor for it, if you don't have any other way to edit these. And get get creative, so thank you for watching this, and uh, there will be more modding videos, or all kinds of Stellaris Let's Plays and other information about the game as well. And also check out the other reviews content, YouTube series, and the live stream as well uh, on Narada TV. So thank you for watching.